I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTracker.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Scorpion EXO T510 helmet. The T510 helmet sells from $209.95 to $229.95. Solids at $209, graphics at $229. Check our website for all the colors available. Free shipping for any order over $40 to the lower 48 United States. Really fast and affordable DHL international shipping. No restocking fees here at STG, and that's important when you're buying a helmet. When you buy the helmet, wear it in the house all you need to. Leave the shield sticker on it. Leave that sticker on it, right? Watch your favorite TV show, browse our website, make sure you love the fit before you take it on the bike. That way, if you need to send it back for return or exchange, you're going to avoid every hassle and avoid every fee. Additionally, we now have low-cost return shipping labels available, so you're able to get the product back to us affordably and efficiently. To qualify this, I rode in this helmet. I went out and I took a good half-hour ride in it. It was about 46 degrees, a little overcast during the day, nice Michigan winter day to verify how the features work, the ventilation works, so on and so forth. Let's begin with sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money. I fit into a medium. Initially, the effort putting it on was good. The T510, that kind of stands for touring or road going within Scorpion's range. The on-off effort was easy. I liked it. It felt really comfortable. It has that cheek pad system where you're able to inflate the cheek pads to dial in the fit, tighten it up if you like to. I like a little tighter fit, so I was able to use the cheek pads, dialed that in, and got the fit that I really enjoyed. So, good fit. Intermediate oval head shape. I think this will fit most true to size with a good, comfortable fit. Certification and weight. 3.6 pounds on our digital shipping scale. We have a polycarbonate shell. We have DOT certification with the helmet. Let's talk about the ride. The first thing we're going to talk about is the fog-free performance of this shield. 46 degrees. I was able to go out and ride vents open or vents closed. I had no fog on the shield. When it comes to fog-free shields, Scorpion kills it. They have the best in the business. The clear outer shield was flawless, never any fog. Now, this helmet also offers a drop-down inner shield. Okay, and you can see that. It's got a good, easy mechanism. I was able to operate all the vents as well as the inner shield control with my gloves on. No worries whatsoever. It worked really well. I will say that this shield, okay, when it was down, remember it was pretty cold at a stoplight, I would get just a tickle of fog on the drop down inner. As soon as I started moving, it went away. You know, honestly, with the overcast dead, I didn't even really need the tinted shield. The clear was absolutely perfect. So, this would be a great cold weather helmet without question. Let's talk about the ventilation and noise levels. You can see the vents here, they stick up in the air just a little bit. When they're open, a little bit, of, you can kind of hear that they're open, a little bit of noise, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. I didn't wear any earplugs, and I was comfortable without wearing earplugs. I would say the level of ventilation is exactly what I expected from this helmet. It's good, it's consistent, it's not epic like a full race helmet, but for a touring level helmet, it had a good balance of airflow and noise. No strange, odd whistles, anything like that at the end of the day very consistent sound from the helmet. You've got two vents here on the top. They're open or closed. You have a large center vent here. It is multi-position. And then we have an intake vent here in the chin as well. And the chin vent is multi-position. Remember, this really can help with demisting and fogging if you have any issues too, as it drives air up onto the shield to help keep the airflow and hold off the fog. But really, with their fog-free treatment, that's a non-issue. The helmet comes complete with chin curtain already installed. We've got their emergency release cheek pad system. We're using a double D-ring fastening system. And then as I spoke about earlier, we've got the air fit cheek pads where you pump the bladder here. Here's the release. That really works great. It helps you to personalize the fit and by getting a good seal in this cheek pad area, it really helps to dial out some of the road noise as well. Other features to note are going to be 
The drop down inner screen actually offers three levels of adjustment. Right here with a screwdriver, position one is full motion, right? And you can see how far down it comes. Position two, and let's go ahead and have it all the way down, and I'll adjust it, and you'll see it change. There is two, and there is three. So you're able to dial in the position of that inner screen. This is using the same shield as the majority of the other helmets at this point. Easy on, easy off. If you want to get a tinted screen for it, you prefer that over the drop down inner shield, you can do that as well. Give you a look at the helmet here. Breath deflector is included and pre installed. Interior of the helmet Quick Wick 2 interior. This is a great fabric. It feels comfortable against the skin. It wicks the moisture. Same stuff they're using in the R2000, their premium helmet. Kind of pull out the chin curtain here. It's removable. Good quality with that as well. Removable, washable, replaceable liner. And as we go through and finish the video up, I'm actually going to disassemble the helmet. For those that want to see the guts of the helmet, I'll give you a great close-up look. But for those of you that you've seen enough, you love it, you want to pull the trigger, I'm just going to say this. If you're street riding, okay, and you're looking for a great helmet value in that $200 range, fog freeze is important to you. They dominate there. I mean, we're talking, this is, I would say, on the level of having a pinlock shield. This works almost that good. And you don't have to look through both panes, so optically it's even superior in that regard. Because when you do have the two panes, in my opinion, it's good but it's not as good as looking through just the one single pane. Hot weather, there's going to be plenty of ventilation there for it. It's not race level ventilation, right? But race level ventilation means more noise. The helmet operated more quietly. It wasn't a distraction at all. It's got a shield lock, air fit cheek pads. And one of the biggest things for me is Scorpion's quality. Their quality of components, quality of assembly at this price point is absolute domination. Nobody does it better in this price point. I've said it a million times, and I've been saying it for years. These guys make absolutely phenomenal helmets. So there you have it. It has my endorsement. And remember, that's from a guy who actually rode in the helmet. And for those of you that want to see the inside out view, stick with us. Okay, for those of you that want to stick with me and get a real close up look at this helmet from the inside out, here we go. And we're going to begin with shield reinstallation. Very high quality shield mechanism they have here. You're going to take this tang here on the shield and locate it in this slot, right? That's step one. From there, you kind of wiggle it around. You'll see it kind of dip in there. Put a little pressure on it, just like that. Repeat the process over here on the other side. A little pressure. Piece of cake. To pull the shield off, you just push forward on the levers, it disengages, no problem. We've already pulled out the chin curtain to reinstall it. You simply push it in there, you see it's got a little Velcro just to make sure it stays in place. The emergency release cheek pads, if that's something you ever need to use, okay? You would literally, the emergency personnel grabs them right here by the loop and just gives it a tug like so and they come right out. Piece of cake, very, very easy to do. If you're going to remove it just for service, you're going to want to wedge your fingers in between the back of the cheek pad and the EPS of the helmet to release all of the three snaps. Once you've done that, kind of grab it up here at the leading edge and pull back. And there you have it. And you look at the quality of assembly here, the quality of materials. Got a little reflective panel there. Scorpion does a phenomenal job with that. To remove the top pad, we have two snaps here at the back. Up in the front, you have a plastic retainer that snaps into the channel around the brow area. I'm going to grab a hold of that plastic and kind of pull up and back. Give you a look here at this. And now the inside of the helmet itself. Look at all the channeling inside the EPS. That's where all your airflow is going to come from. You can see the cheek pad system right here, the bladders that are used. And it inflates 
down here, up towards the front, and up here on top of the strap itself. And they actually have the ability to inflate quite a bit. To release, push in. If you are going to use a communicator system, you can capture that right there, Steve. There is a perfectly hollowed out hole right there to accept the speakers and the pockets to make for a very easy install. It's going to be compatible with all of your current systems out there, no worries. Not every helmet, especially at this price point, looks like this when you pull it apart. The fit and the finish of all the pieces in here, they do a phenomenal job. And in my opinion, in their price points, they are absolute class leading when it comes to quality of assembly. And for me, that's a big deal because I think you get a lot of value with the product. They hold up very well. They perform very well for sure. Like anything else, they're not perfect, but at this price point, this is very, very hard to beat. In my opinion, they do a great job. I've always been a huge Scorpion fan, Scorpion helmet wearer. My whole family wears and has worn Scorpion, I believe, in that product that much. There you have it. There's our full review of the all-new Scorpion EXO-T510 helmet.